Uh, I am Dr. George Koshi, former professor and head of the Department of Cardiology, Government Medical College, Trivandrum, presently working in Cosmopolitan Hospital, Trivandrum. Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause for morbidity and mortality world over. And 50% of the contribution actually comes from elevated blood pressure or systemic hypertension. We should understand that high blood pressure is mostly a disease without any symptoms. That is why we call it as a silent killer. So the only way hypertension can be diagnosed is by measuring the blood pressure properly. That is the theme of the World Hypertension Day. Measure your blood pressure accurately, control it, and live longer. So let us see how the blood pressure can be accurately measured. Ordinarily, the blood pressure is taken with the sphygma manometer. Earlier, it was all mercury apparatus. Now, mercury has been phased out. And now we mostly depend upon the electronic BP apparatus. And the BP cuff should be tied on the upper arm. The wrist measurement is not very accurate. So it has to be on the upper arm. Very important that you use the correct cuff size. For the adult, the size will be, the width of the cuff will be around 13 centimeter and the length of the cuff will be around 24 centimeter. And if you are having an obese arm and if you are using a smaller cuff, then the blood pressure will be recorded high falsely. So correct BP cuff measurement is important. And it should be tied on the bare arm, not on the clothing. The other important point, your arm should be at the level of the heart and should be resting. Similarly, the feet should be resting on the ground and the legs should not be crossed. The back should be supported. The person should be in a relaxed position, both mentally and physically. The bladder should be empty. If you are in a full bladder, you know, your blood pressure will be high. Similarly, the person should not be speaking or should not be emotionally upset when the blood pressure is being recorded. And the person should not be eating or engaged in a conversation. So these precautions should be taken while recording the blood pressure. Otherwise, your recording may be inaccurate. And the basis of diagnosis and treatment of hypertension is an accurate blood pressure recording. It can be easily done with the commercially available electronic BP apparatus. That is what you call as the HBPM, home blood pressure recording. And ordinarily, we record the blood pressure three times in the sitting posture, back supported, sitting upright, legs uncrossed, arm supported at the heart level, and the average of the three recordings can be taken, or the last two recordings. That will give you a true idea about the correct blood pressure. And uh, treatment, a lot of options are available, lifestyle modification and drug treatment. Anyway, the blood pressure should be well controlled. If you control the blood pressure well, the complications related to blood pressure, like a heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, heart failure, and problems can, that can be almost eliminated, and you can have a fairly normal life. So that is the theme of this World Hypertension Day. Accurately measure your blood pressure, control it, and live longer. Thank you very much.